In another part of the city, power washing with a purpose. Neighbors came together to restore a mural paying homage to a local drag queen after it had been painted over. Leslie Gooden spoke with the artist about a show of support. We are in the Mission District, and you've probably seen this intersection before. And if you've been driving by, you might have seen a familiar face on this utility box, Juanita Moore. But because it was destroyed, on Friday, it got a new, fresh makeover. Juan Manuel Carmona is a local queer Mexican-American artist known for his work around the city, which focuses on promoting visibility, inclusion, and awareness through art. Drag is a very powerful uh, way of art and expression, and it's also a really important part of San Francisco. So uh, we wanted to make a tribute to Juanita Moore. Juan says this public art project went through all the necessary city procedures and was approved by the San Francisco Arts Commission. But within 48 hours of completion, someone defaced it. So he fixed it again. Then on October 6, he encountered what he is calling a violent homophobic and transphobic attack with a neighbor who he says destroyed the utility box painting. I was trying to restore it, exactly the same thing we're doing today with a pressure washer. And I encountered this individual who told me that he did not want the box here. And that escalated, I, uh, unfortunately, to the point where like, I called the police. I put myself between him and the box trying to protect it. Juan says despite the exchange, he wants to know why he did this. I would like to have a conversation and ask him this specifically. And so he repainted Juanita again. The drag queen herself says they and others decided to host the Restore Drag Rally. The minute that I even just sent some texts, please join me tomorrow or today to help this happen, they were, everybody was like, I will be there, so. Other supporters in the neighborhood, like Mateo, says little pieces of art like this is what makes people feel safe. For a safe space like this to feel like someone doesn't feel that love, it almost feels like that person needs a little bit more love. Juan says defacing his work will not stop his mission. The fight's not over, you know, like having gay rights, uh, LGBT rights, queer rights, it's, it's something that we still need to keep fighting for. Lesla tells us the artist participates in Paint the Void, a nonprofit that pays artists to paint uplifting public murals.